Oh, thank you. Leonardo da Vinci designed it. <laughs> yeah, who else? <laughs> oh, here. Oh, Master, I'm going to cry. <laughs> hey, we got champagne, and we have caviar, and we're going to have the most beautiful party anybody ever had. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> wish to ruin the surprise. Yeah, okay. Now, yeah. how do I make a sweater? Uh, how do you make a sweater? Well, I, I suppose we could uh, get some wool, huh? Get some wool. And uh, some, uh, what do you call it, long, uh, uh, knitting needles? Knitting needles. And uh, some a pattern. Oh, a pattern. Like a pattern. Well, well, what, what is the very best kind of wool? The best kind of wool? Uh, uh, cashmere, probably. Cashmere, of course. Oh, Isma Salih, why did I not think of that myself? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Major Healy. Okay. And if I have enough wool left over, I shall knit you a sock. Well, I'll see you, Jean. Nice talking to you. Yes, thank goodbye. You. No, no, baby. You didn't do your part. Mommy throws the stick, and you bring it back. Mommy threw it but you didn't bring it here. I wish you could tell Mommy where the stick is. In the bushes, stupid. No way to talk to Mommy. <laughs> you talk to Mommy. <laughs> but you can't talk. Can you? No. <laughs> I've come to find out what you're doing. I? Oh, well, I I'm doing nothing. You have used the love incantation over your master. Oh, just a little. <laughs> Decree 720, paragraph 6, subhead 3. It is forbidden for any genie to cast a love spell over her master. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, next time I will know better. Would you like a cup of coffee? I have your reservation, Mr. Nelson. Oh, good. I am Mrs. Anthony Nelson. Well, we're not actually married yet. You're not. Oh, but we will be as soon as the minister gets here. Yeah, he's on his way. He's going to be here any minute. Mm -hmm. Here's your key, miss. Thanks. And yours, Mr. Nelson. <laughs> the bellboy will show you to your rooms. <laughs> Nelson? Oh, we're yes, sorry to surprise you, oh, yeah, but uh, yeah. we are dropping in on all our good husband candidates this way. Well, ye ye yes, this is a surprise. <laughs> well, Mrs. Endicott doesn't want to catch husbands on good behavior. Uh, <laughs> may we come in? Oh, oh, oh yes, yes, of course. Thank you. Come in. Oh, I love it when you call me, darling. I just melt. <laughs> <laughs> what was it you wanted to tell me? Get those people out by Friday. Yes, darling. I will go fix your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, do I have a clean shirt? Oh, yes, yes, dear. In the bottom drawer. Oh, thanks. I wash them myself. <laughs> By the end of the year, we will have saved $38.42, oh. including tax. <laughs> Sorry, madame. No visitors. I am sorry, Master, but I was so excited about going to Bermuda that I could not wait to hear. Yeah, well, you might as well forget about Bermuda, the way General Schaefer feels. I'll be lucky if he lets me have the night off to go to the movies. How is his hand? I don't know. He wouldn't let me go with him to see Dr. Bellows. Howdy! Howdy, Jimmy! Oh, you look great! Oh, you were just going to be able to meet him. Oh, my old friend Corky, and this is Maureen, and this is Susie. Oh, you look great! Why is he not dancing with a girl? 
funny chick. Where did you find her? Well, actually, in a bottle on the beach. She's... In a bottle? <laughs> <laughs> a little she tried to. What's the matter with you, anyway? Well, what is the matter with me? Yeah, you genies are all alike. Promises, promises, promises. When it comes to delivery, nothing. Absolutely nothing. What are you talking about? Today, today, all these tricks you've been... You've been driving me crazy with these tricks. Let's finish up the dictation over here, miss. I do it. But I have done nothing. I, I told you I transferred my power. Oh, sure you did. Sure you did. You transferred your power. To you. To me. To me? You transferred your power to me? Yes, Master. What now? Uh, there's nothing to worry about. We'll just hide out here until the British arrive. Master, may I help you? No, certainly not. Well, then I'm going to leave. Why? Because I do not want to stay and watch them bury you at sea. <laughs> that, that, that is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. How do you change the weather like that? Oh, it is simple. I think hot. <laughs> you think hot? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if we could control the weather. Oh, well, that is easy, Master. But would you not get tired of sunshine all the time? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I would. It used to uh, get pretty cold up in Wisconsin, where I was. Oh, do you enjoy the cold weather? Yeah, yeah. I must say, some of the happiest days of my life were spent in the snow and the, the cold in Wisconsin. Like that, Master? Huh? Hey, that's wonderful, dear. Got a nice bottle of wine, and if you'll turn oh, on the oh, music, well, I... Darling, uh, no, I, I'm afraid not. We, we have a guest. A guest? Who? Cousin Tony! Lock up the silver. What? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, is this not a pleasant surprise? Cousin Arvel came all the way from Texas just to visit us. Yeah, terrific. Yeah. <laughs> I told you he'd be tickled. <laughs> Hello, Master Darling. Oh. You were late. Yeah, of course I'm late. I had to babysit with that lunatic piano until everybody left. What's all that for? It is my new gown for your debut. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, it's great, but I'm not going to have a debut. Now, how did you know about that, anyhow? Are you trying to tell me, Jeannie, that uh, I'm going to have to cancel my vacation because of those four, uh, uh, four, what, what's the names? The Voice and Heart Group. Yeah, you telling me that? Oh, yes, Master, they need me. Yeah. Is it not strange they were not even interested in show business until the bazaar? <laughs> Jeannie, music is very well in its place. It's great. And when we come back from our vacation, you oh, can no, listen no, to the rest. Oh, no, no, Master. We can must strike any... while the iron is hot. <laughs> Where'd you hear that? Aristotle said it. <laughs> oh, my poor Master. I saw everything, and I am so ashamed. I am not fit to be your genie. I am a complete flip. Flop. Flop. <laughs> Jeannie, is that you? Oh, poor sweet master. You have grown so skinny, even your head feels thin. Oh, but do not worry. I shall arrange a feast of the ages. Well, let's give it a whirl. Ooh, what a marvelous machine. So scientific. <laughs> well, there you are. What is the girl's name? Laverne Sidelko. Oh, Laverne Sidelko. Well, where can I find this Laverne Sidelko? Oh, that is you. That, that, that is you. Well, you can't argue with a computer. Come in. Are you ready to go, Master? Oh, darn it, Jeannie, I'm sorry, I forgot. We can't go shopping for your wedding gown today. Uh, I've got this report to finish. It's really important. Oh, but, Master, I'm so afraid someone will buy the one I have in mind. Oh, come on. Tony, oh, excuse me. Would you sign these uh, for General Sir Schaefer? Hmm. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, this is my fiance, Jeannie. This is Dolores. Dolores? Mm. Hi. Very pleased to meet you. All right. I'll show you I'm as sentimental as the next man. Oh, thanks, Raj. Jeannie! Oh, you called, oh, my beloved. <clears throat> uh, dear, uh, Tony, Tony would like to talk to you. Oh, please do not make me talk to him. Oh, I know how awful it's been being his genie, but you, you just give him a little short talk, okay? I'll be back in a few minutes. Make it short, huh? Three weeks. I'll never make it in three weeks. 